All right, where are you at? No, I need you to buy leather, not sell pants. Actually, if you were to switch over to a Fletcher, that'd be great. But that would break the way that we usually do things. So we'll give you your cauldron back. Because originally you were trying to sell us a chest plate and we're buying leather. Where did you go? All right, that works for me. You level up. Let's sell some bow. All right, that's that. At least for the time being. Let's go ahead and clear out these blocks so we can add more beds to the village. That's not a good spawn for you, Fire Song. Have you considered not spawning there? Yeah, that tends to happen. That was the last of that. I'm gonna bring this one down. I mean, the sass is gonna come out sometimes. That's unavoidable. I mean, even if you go over to Lottle Dad, you're gonna get sass sometimes. That's just the way it is. Sometimes the sass can't be held back.
Oh, I do. I very much do. And you know it. level you up. Give me a saddle. That's not a saddle. Who are you, buddy? You... right there now we're going to start getting some giant spruce redwoods uh, running is not going to get you away from that dragon fast enough they outpace you by a fair amount if you spawn next to it, it is going to grab you. Unless you spawn next to some ruins as well. They're able to get into those. leave the flowering azalea trees here but we also want to clear up the area around them so that they can be seen oh all right uh, da, 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 da. Okay, fire sign. Just keep your cool. Don't let it get to you. Take it. Alright, now we can buy ourselves an iron sword. Finally. Okay. Off to go home again.
Man, we have gotten quite a bit done today. Well, I was not expecting to find a stronghold. I was expecting to find maybe bamboo shoots or a cherry blossom grove, but I'll, I'll take the win. We know where the stronghold is. We got a village now. We can start working on that, getting some stuff ready. And work on expanding the town. Uh, actually, uh, we haven't gone into the nether to recheck what our nether spawn was like, so we still need to do that today. So off to our nether portal. And we're going to check where we are in that. So that we can start preparing for when we go nether fort hunting. And bastion hunting, because now we need to do that so we can get netherite. So we got big ice flows right over there. We got a shipwreck that is above the water. Alright, let's see what it's got. Not sure how it's staying afloat like that, but you know. Must mean there's some good loots in here. Aqua Affinity, Suspicious Stew. Anything else below, or is it just the... Nope, that's the only treasure chest that survived. Because the two on that side ain't there. Okay. Another ruin portal. And with the ruin portals we found, we've got a fair amount of gold now for bartering with the piglins. And here's some more. Alright, we'll toss out the eggs. And we'll toss out seeds. Wait, where we need to turn more right, didn't we? Got a buried treasure map. So we can use that to find some nice stuffs.
That's, nope, that is not the right way to be going to get home. So let's try this way. We should be seeing our little setup soon. Where is it? Did we go too far out? I went too far. Yeah, the ice went a lot farther than I needed to go. Okay. Because there's my stuff. I do hope you're having a wonderful time zone, whether that puts you in evening, morning, or anything in between. And I do hope you remember to grab your food. And, and Bonesy, you'll be very happy to know that we found the stronghold before we hit day 20 in the world. And you know, we even were able to find the, the portal room in under 15 minutes after we found it. Oh, how are you being called out by Sky's chat? What are they doing? Do I need to get upset with them? Or are they calling you out for forgetting to eat as well? See, you need to get your food. When you say stuff like that, it make it, it makes me sad. melt down these two axes. Wait. 
toss that one. Stone goes in with stone. Sharp, just we need to drop that off with our other books. Well, I can guarantee that we'll be checking up on you in 30 minutes. That I can guarantee, Bonesy. And we expect a detailed update. Suspicious stew goes in with the foods. Horrors. Got a fair amount of nuggets. We can make a few more bars with that. And make ourselves another axe. Actually, mm, yeah, we do need another axe. Make some gold bars. So how are we looking at so that we can do some bartering next time we go to another? Got 41 and 5 blocks. That's not bad. Let's grab our boots. Let's so hop in real quick. Because I do not remember what our nether spawn is on this world. Also, sit. You get a steak as a treat because you were very helpful on our way out to the village, but I don't need you following me into the nether just yet. Okay, we're on the edge of Soul Sand Plateau. Oh! That's right, we were right next to it. Because we went out looking for it, and when we came back, we were right next to the fort. I remember that. I think, I think we even grabbed a clip of that. So yeah, we, we got the fort right here. We got the stronghold. We can literally go to the end as soon as we're ready. Yeah, because we went out exploring that way, going up, and then we came back, and there was Brick just staring us in the face. Okay, but we do need to get some pig ones. Because we are going to need that for our bartering. Box from over here. Okay, we come all the way over here. We were looking desperately for one. We went out a few hundred blocks and came back once we ran out of stone to save ourselves and be protected. And it was just sitting there staring at us. Which was hilarious on one end, but on the other side, it. it meant that I hadn't fully scanned things when I came through, which made me feel bad. Because I made a gooby mistake. There's another ruin, another portal over here. Let's go see what treasures they got. 
Oh, we've already looted that. Alright, let's grab bone blocks. So that's going to be very useful. Master man, help. I found a dragon D-E-N in the ocean. Dragon dens in the ocean are not very fun. They're also very hard to escape from because the water slows you down much more than it does the dragon. But I do wish you luck. Uh, best shot with that is you're going to need to swim in a straight line and hopefully you can find some arches, some sea arches that you can go through that are going to block it. That's what you need. We are going to open up a hole into the fort. I'm not sure I'd say that's safe. Desert Turn, not a safe place to be in RL Craft. We're gonna break in right here. shot me. No one had a clear line of shot, and he's not even aware of me. And he's a wither boy. That's a fire boy. Back here with our bow and arrow. Or I could dig a dig a tunnel. I want to go about 15 blocks forward. few more. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two.
Not a single blaze rod. Hey, finally one. What do we got up here? Got a lot of lava above us, that's what we got. Tunnels, 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 blaze bar. There's a few more rods. We can get up to four more than we are done. At least for a good while. How many are we up to? We are up to three. We need three more. Three more and we're good. Then we just need the pearls. We get and we can make plenty of boats to take care of that. Please, Rod, that's all I need. Actually, your fireballs do count as projectiles, so we'll keep that on for now. This is one of those unique situations where it's actually better to have the gold on. There we go, we got an extra one even. If we get one more, we'll actually be able to do some potioning as well. There we go. We are good to go. Now we just need to get out without getting withered. Still get our gold boot on. All right. 
Another fort cleared. Another fort cleared on day 23. Hmm. All right. Okay. So we need we got one out of 12, so that's 11. Three, four, five, six. In there, I need to turn it into powder. We can use the one to make a potion brewing stand. And then we've got an extra. We've got an extra blaze rod. Here we go. <laughs> Things are coming along quite nicely. Actually, we've, with how close that blaze spawner is, it might actually be worthwhile to turn it into a XP farm. We got the lava from the uh, plateau right there, or we can grab from here. We got vines. We, we could turn the blaze spawner into an XP farm. that that would be fun we got we got enough iron we can do the droppers because we need a two by two base and we've got enough iron for that so yeah we could we could set up a blaze spawner xp farm on this world all right i think yeah i think that's what we're gonna do next time